Hi friends, welcome to this Halloween Decorate With Me part two. I was not planning to do two videos, but I just had some more fun Halloween ideas to share with y'all. In today's video, I am decorating for Halloween in the kitchen, the coffee bar area, and then the front of the house, like the door, and then a little bit of our front yard. If you're new, I would love if you stuck around and subscribe, and I hope you get some Halloween decorating ideas for your home. So I'm going to decorate my little coffee bar for Halloween. These are the items I have. And to be quite honest, like our dining table, it always has stuff on it. So I don't think I'm going to be doing like a centerpiece or anything. But this is all of the Halloween items. I got this last year. It's like a tiered tray little signs and these little coffee stirs are just so fun. I've had them for like, this is my third year I think. And everything's a mess right now. <laughs> it's not perfectly clean, but I think I'm gonna put this right here and take this down and make it super crazy simple. But, you know, still fun. are individually wrapped so it's like perfect so I started to decorate this tear tray that I got from Target but it does change up there were so many things that ended up changing on this Halloween coffee bar which you guys will see here shortly but I wanted to share one tip of mine. I always say this, but I did not do it. I did not even take my own tip, but I did end up doing this. I had to take everything down and kind of start from scratch because I just could not see like the whole picture. I was trying to combine my fall decor with my Halloween, but no, I had to completely scratch that, which I will share with you when I decide to do that. that kind of love is not easy to find, babe. I haven't felt that since you went home. And it just comes to show that we don't decorate, I say we, like YouTubers online, we don't decorate correctly or right on the first time, like it doesn't feel right. So we, you know, move things around a ton and I don't pre-decorate. Uh, so you see like all the trial, all the trial and errors. So yeah, like I do not hit it on the nail on the first try the bright orange was kind of throwing me off in this decor i liked the dull orange better but right here is where you see that i just took everything down and if you guys watched my last video the halloween clean and decorate you should totally watch it if you haven't watched it yet but i shared a trader joe's haul and that broom up there is from trader joe's and it's like a cinnamon broom but i needed like a statement piece and i was so excited that i thought of it so the big statement piece is from Trader Joe's and I just love it I feel like it really added some fun 
Halloween-ness. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but I ended up putting like the pretzel rods as well. And then some cookies that I got from Trader Joe's as well, like on the shelves and made it like a fun Halloween hot cocoa and a coffee bar as well. <laughs> And this little vignette, I placed it in my bay window, which you'll see here shortly. I kept it really simple, but I loved the touches of Halloween. And we like to open that blind quite a bit during the day, obviously. So it's just fun to see all of the Halloween decorations. They're simple, but still fun. And for those of you that know that I'm pregnant, I was taking quite a few breaks here and there. I've been doing so much more better. I am just really trying to listen to my body when I'm getting cramping and pain and pressure. I just stop and drink water and rest. And that seems to do it really well, but I try not to get it to where I'm hurting severely bad because then I can bounce back quicker, if that makes sense. So this is how it turned out and I really, really like it. This little Hey Boo sign is from Target Dollar Spot this year. I freaking love it. And on the other side, it says Happy Halloween, but it's such a cute touch. I hope you guys are loving this and getting some ideas. I kind of do go over the top for my seasonal coffee bar. I just, it just, I just love it. And it brings me tons of joy and I just really enjoy the whole process about it. So when you walk in from the like entryway, which is kind of a disaster right now, this is what you walk into. <laughs> it is so much fun. I, this is so fun. So fun to me. And then I need to like declutter that a little bit, but I don't have anything for that corner. And then I'll show you guys this when it's not so like sun blaring okay well there it goes so I put a target dollar spot pillow right there that I've had for a while now and yeah the little school I got from Trader Joe's Day of the Dead and then created that little vignette and these are from Ikea and this is from Trader Joe's it requires a lot of sun so I put it in there and I love it besides it needed to be cleaned <laughs> Um, at this time of day, at the evening, it really shines through. So in the morning, it'll look better <laughs> as far as appearance. But I love this so much. I need to 
toss this arrangement probably makes me so sad and like I said the corner I have nothing here I'm still not sold on the Nespresso you guys such a bummer The middle wreath is from Dollar Tree and it just went perfect inside the Ikea fall wreath that I had. And then I went ahead and like prepared all of the bats to go on the door. And then we'll jump outside to do some Halloween decorating. I did use a lot of Dollar Tree items. And so it was pretty cheap to decorate the outside and then we had some Halloween decorations already. So I did not spend very much, probably a total of like $5. I mean, between $5 and $10. It was really, really cheap to decorate for Halloween outside. I was able to use these little witches and I just used like a, a little pin and I pinned it into the wood and then they're just like hanging out and then the little ghost as well. That is going to wrap up today's Halloween Decorate With Me. I hope you guys got some simple Halloween decorating ideas for your home. And I am over the top for my coffee bar area. But really, just simple touches always make the biggest difference. And the front yard looks like a hot mess. <laughs> But I feel like that's part of Halloween here shortly. You'll see the lights on as well in the dark. So stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. All of the seasonal decor videos. And I'll be having a major declutter and organize, I believe, for my next video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I love you guys. And just thank you so much for sticking around and being so, so darn patient. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I will see you all very soon. Bye.